Hello and welcome to Becky's Crafts and Goodies. I just want to show you um, how I package some of my items. You might want to do um, little craft fairs, you might sell online, in which case you probably have your own way of packaging anyway. But if you're making things to give as presents to family, friends, or you just make them for yourself and you want to package them in a nice way, here's a few little tips for you. Now in the previous video, I made some hair clips and um, I just wanted to show you what I've been working is just packaging them up so I just wanted to show you how I've packaged them so if I just give you a quick look over here sorry about the glare um, this is basically what I've done and it just makes them more of a gift more of a present so I'm just going to show you here quickly how um, I did it so obviously in the previous video I showed you how to make or how I made these clips very very simple so what I did was measured out some card. You can use any card that you want, um, just anything that you think ma matches. The card I used was from this book here, Cardboard Patterns. So that's the one that I used. It's got some nice, nice designs in there. So I cut out some pieces of card, eight and a half centimeters by six and a half centimeters. And what I did was fold lightly don't actually press down about that much so you've got a couple of centimeters spare at the top then just take some scissors and cut up don't cut all the way and then do another cut there so as you can see you've not gone all the way through you've just sort of done that little score mark open it back out again and then you will be able to slide your hair grips into the little piece of card to make it a little holder so there we go that sews neatly now I've left a little gap at the top on purpose so you do that with those so I'll just do the same here with this button one so yet again I've used different design um, card for the buttons to the to the flower ones I just thought it'd look nice if they were all the same for each type and again just cut up and cut up again just to give you those little lines open your clips clip them on and clip the same one on I think they look nice when they're opposite so don't clip them both on the same side so I've done that there now with those I've got some little tiny bags let me just quickly measure these bags for you um, this in centimetres it's 12 centimetres by seven and a half so all I did was slide those into the bag like that push it down the bottom now you've got various options here um, you can fold them over which is what I've done in this instance normally I just fold them and I put a little strip like this it won't be the, I wouldn't use the same color but let's say I do a little strip like that and fold it over that's what I would normally do but I would leave a gap um, but in this case I didn't want to do that I just wanted to fold them straight over you could put a sticker on the back if you've got a sticker um, but what I did was just use a little bit of tape just to stick on the back there just to hold it and that's it that's it done now design wise on the front I always like to do a little bit of something else on the packaging I've got these I've got a few options I've got this pack of bows here so you could stick a little bow maybe in the middle maybe at the side if you've got a price ticket that you want to put on you could put that on the other option was I used this little uh, punch palm punch to cut out some um, hearts you could stick those on in my case I've just stuck a little sticker on the side there so that's why I've left the room at the top so I'll stick those stickers on in a second so this one I need to pop in the bag so you just do exactly the same thing slide it down fold it over a little bit of tape and there's that one 
So I'll just stick on the top the little stickers that I wanted. Pop it on that one as well. Okay, so that's those already there. I've done the same thing for these. This is the little bow that I've done there. Now I needed to use a bigger piece of paper, so I needed a bigger bag for that one. So just see how the sizes go really as to what um, cello bags you need. There's the other one. I'll show you how I did that one in a moment. And there's the larger clips. So for this one, it's exactly the same principle. Um, I've made a clip here and I just stuck buttons on them. Same as that. I didn't show that in the tutorial, but I just stuck the buttons on. So again, the same thing. Just fold up, leave a gap at the top. Don't push down so it makes a big mark. Just cut there. Open up the clip and thread it through like that and it just keeps it in place now for this one I, I think that size should just be fine so um, now this is one that I cut, cut off from a previous bag now a lady on YouTube called Fun Creations did a tutorial and um, teaching us to, to save really to save money on our little our little bags so if you don't do it check out her video because it um, teaches us not to be wasteful um, I'll show you exactly what I mean so for this one I've run out of bags for this so I'm going to use a bag that's too big but this one is far too big for the size that I need so if you check out uh, fun creations video she will show you so I'm going to pop this in here if you wanted the opening to be at the bottom you would put that in there and you would seal it up that way but I'm not fussed about that I want them all the same as the others so I put those down there they fall down to the bottom and then I will cut off the amount that I need And again the same way fold that down put some tape on the back so you've got the same the same effect now this part that you've cut off can still be used so you've got you've even got the sticky bit on the top here so all you can do is sellotape that along the bottom glue it or anything stick it on there and you can use that as another bag so don't throw any of those bits away so here we've got these few. I'm just going to stick my little stickers on those just to show you. And then they should be all done. So there's a tutorial on before this where I show you how I made these and this is how I package them. I think how you package things is very important. I think it helps you to get a good price for your products and um, I just think it looks it looks nice and it, it, it shows off the work that you've done to the best I think so there we go sorry about the bit of a glare um, but they're the things that I've made today I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and remember packaging is very important and I love packaging things up it's quite simple but it just makes your product look really professional so I hope you've enjoyed watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe. Please give us a thumbs up. Any um, comments are also appreciated. Thanks for spending time with me. See you again soon. Bye.